In this lesson, I'm going to show you a few other things you can automate under the File menu. Let's pull up a, another picture. Old image I just grabbed here. File, Automate. Okay, we went through PDF. Some of the other ones you're going to use are Fit Image. So if you want to constrain the image to exactly the number of pixels, let's say, you know, you're on a website and it's only allowing this width by this height of, of pixels. So here you could just constrain it 500 by 300. Hit enter, boom. You've constrained the image very quickly and easily. So there's one other thing under automate you're going to be using a lot. Fit image. Merge to HDR. If you don't know what HDR is, basically HDR is when a person combines um, up to three normally three different exposures. So let's say one was exposed medium, one was exposed uh, underexposed, which means it was darker, and one was overexposed and caught a lot more of the light points. and It was a much brighter shot. Well, a lot of times that picks up different detail in each of those exposures. And on a camera you set to uh, HDR or it's called bracketing, where it quickly takes three different shots all at different exposure levels and that gives you different detail on each of the shots. Well here you can two or more files from a set of exposures to merge. So here's where you would browse, pick your three exposures and allow you to easily merge in an, it into an HDR or high dynamic range image if you're into the photography thing. All right. Another thing to automate, photo merge. Now if you notice these little preview shots, so a lot of times you may do, want to do a perspective shot with three different photos. Um, normally they got to be sized down if you want this sort of a shot to a similar size before this photo merge will work. Like if we just grabbed four photos right now it wouldn't really work. You'd have to have um, you'd have to have three of a similar size. Um, but what we can do is this interactive or reposition layout. Let's try reposition. So we'll grab three photos. Let's grab the fish. We've already grabbed old image, but I'm grabbing it again. And one more. Sunflower. Let's grab that. All right. Hit OK. All right. Let it do its thing. Some images could not be automatically aligned. So it was trying to align them and it wasn't able to. All right. So. Ah, you see how it tried to blend the fish with the old image. It didn't even get the old image in the shot, probably because it was black and white. All right. In any case, you're given several different options there in Photo Merge. So that's something you're going to be using, probably um, automating things at times, using that. Actually, let's try resizing a few of those so we can get a better idea of photo merge. So I'm going to, I'm going to open a couple. Let's go to bridge. Let's say the, the dog. And I'm going to use what we just used recently, fit image. And I'm going to make it much smaller. Um, how about width uh, 350, whoops, width 350, height uh, 280. All right, that is kind of small. Let's try that a little bigger. 
try 550 by 350. Okay, that's better. Now we'll save as dog photo merge. Okay. Okay, now we'll open another one. Let's open the palm tree. And we'll also resize that fit image. 550 by 350, we'll do the same size. And then we'll do save as. Oops, I checked. Open as. So we want save as palm tree photo merge. Alright. Uh, gives us TIFF options. I'm just going to take what's defaulted. Alright. And now let's do one more. Let's grab the lake. File automate. Fit image. Same size. 550 by 350. Save as um, lake photo merge. That's what I'll name it. Take the default. Done. Alright, now I'm going to exit out of each of those. Now I'm going to go back to automate photo merge. And now that they're smaller, let's see if... Um, let's try interactive layout this time. Now we'll grab those three that we modified. Alright, where are they? Okay, palm tree photo merge. Lake photo merge and dog photo merge. There we go. All right. Let's see if this does a better job. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to resize this window for you. Give me one second. Okay, see now this window has popped up that allows us to place these the way we want, like so. Uh, and you see what it's done? Is it's sort of feathered them all together a little bit. So if we wanted to do one like so, that doesn't look very good, but we can try perspective. Okay, it was not able to correct the perspective given a couple other options here. Rotate image, set vanishing point, magnify. In any case, this gives you a clue what photo merge does. Um, and a lot of times it is easier just to do it yourself. Feather it, place them on a blank document, you know, grab all three of these photos, resize them yourself. Um, but with photo merge it automatically does it. It allows you to, to do it somewhat here within this window. But it may be to your benefit to, uh, to not use automate, depending on the situation for photo merge. So there's a little bit on that.